Maycorn closed moderately lower today after spending a few days consolidating just under a very key resistance level in the form of the 50-day moving average and failing to decisively break up and over it and specifically not being able to get up and close above it. Uh, so over, over the course of time, if it can't get through a key resistance level like that, uh, technically speaking, it's, it's somewhat expected to see a bit of a pullback. Uh, or break off of it, and that is what we did. Now, with the corn pretty much trading sideways all week, when you put that together with today, that May corn contract is down six cents on the week. This is all coming after uh, what's been a three week bounce off of the lows, <clears throat> at one point almost 40 cents, about 39 cents off of the low, um, now only about 32 cents off of the low. So, you know, we've had our spring bounce. The question is, is it going to continue do we continue to go higher or has this been the extent of that? And uh, I certainly know there's a lot of producers that are hoping uh, for more of an extension higher, although we don't always get what we are hoping for when it comes to markets. Um, it's just how that is, right? So we'll have to see where we go from here. Part of the reason for the break and for the uh, lack of follow through up and over that key resistance level, I think came in the form of some very large rains that was happening across the Midwest uh, Wednesday into Thursday, and which will continue into Friday. Uh, this rain is really benefiting a lot of areas that have been really rather dry, have been showing up on the drought monitor. And it's doing it at a time where as we get ready for planting, as we get ready for this next growing season that we'll have here in, in the United States, uh, it could be really very beneficial. Now, we would like to see some dry weather. Uh, we're very picky about how we like our weather and when we have it. But we'd like to see some drier weather as we get into planting. So uh, really, this came at a sort of perfect time because there's still time before we're, we're really going to start getting planted. So uh, good rains across the Midwest. That was a negative factor on the markets. Also going to say that the longer term forecast in Brazil got a bit weather. There are some rains now in Brazil's forecast and their extended forecast. And part of the reason uh, or part of the spark for corn to bounce off the lows uh, was, a, was, was that dry extended forecast in Brazil. So as that changes, um, that takes away a little bit of that weather, weather premium that we had been adding into the market. Uh, we also had our weekly export sales as we do most Thursdays, and they came within expectations, which is to say they were pretty good uh, at 1.283 or just under 1.3 million metric tons. That's up 16% that's from last week and about 19, almost 20% higher than the four week average. Uh, but we were expecting a pretty decent week. It was towards the high end of expectations, which were 800,000 to 1.4 million. And again, coming in at that higher end, but not above it. That was a positive influence, but not enough of one to offset the weather and the technical action that we saw today. So a lot going on for corn. Are we going to see an extension of this rally or did we just see our spring high? I don't know if somebody knows, please tell me. I am so very curious, so you must stay tuned. We'll see where it goes from here and have a wonderful day. You stay safe.